Hey there, TV besties. What's up? Welcome back to another recap here with your girl. Recap, commentary, opinion, my thoughts. All that makes me like good little stuff that you're going to get in these episodes. I'm your girl, Ash. If you are new here, short for Ashley. You can call me whichever. I'm basically your TV bestie. You know the girl that you want to check into after you don't watch these daily, week, daily, weekly, more like weekly episodes. And you need to chop it up and have a good old conversation. So make sure you drop some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the weekly episode. As you can see, we're doing Black Ink tonight. It's episode four, The Last Supper, and good old Caesar. I think it's just so crazy that the fact that, I mean, like, everybody, like, pretty much knows Caesar at this point, or maybe this is, like, just New York etiquette, or maybe just, like, everybody knows Caesar. Everybody knows Caesar, and it was funny that everybody had the same thought, that the vibe felt like all last supper-ish but basically caesar decides to basically hold a dinner a meal while also like having a meeting with the rest of the crew members you know basically if you know for black ink so what's funny is is we all know that just as much as they know we know that anytime like caesar is like in a good mood extra happy, extra like whatever, whatever, you know there's going to be some shade. You better expect like basically him like shade, seriousness, possibly firing, like switching some things up. And that's basically where we are. Last week he made a comment, you know, to Ted and Puma about, you know, basically rock and um crystal opening up their own shop now in rock's defense he's basically saying that hey i gave caesar the heads up that this was something they were going to do and puma's like hey basically in caesar's defense like how did you present that to him like do you know all what caesar has going on like do you know like basically right if you just sat here and told them it went over his head when basically you really needed to have sat down and like really like had like a whole planned out whole thing going on because his the, their defense is no they're not trying to step on caesar's shoes but as well like i'm trying to figure out does that explain like y'all immaturity into the business that y'all really didn't know how to present to your current boss who is a now a franchise you know basically is franchising his own company in regards to how y'all were going to open up this business because it sounds like they were automatically open to breaking bread together i guess that's the best word to put it but basically how they presented it you know was not that and on a business standpoint i can completely understand caesar if you're not with me doing if you're not representing black ink then who are you and what are you doing and i think they are taking it so personally when i feel like really like i like kind of like puma said if you know like as a business owners and being that this where you are and where you're trying to go whether you were trying to break bread with him not break bread with him there was a way to put that and basically the way you put it was just like this is what we're going to do it didn't sound like that you know y'all necessarily wanted to break bread even though y'all might have been open to breaking bread with him and obviously caesar is just like nah like you basically in or you're out when crystal tried to be like well hey how about it's black ink presents whatever their whole like little shop or whatever it's called and he's like mm, no are you surprised? Like, we talk about Caesar. You really did not expect him to, like, give, like, a yes on, like, the first try. I, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even expecting a yes on the second try. But it's kind of just, like, Caesar's arrogant. He can be rude. And you really going to get you to come and humble yourself. Or you're just going to be like, hey, this is a venture that we wanted to do. And, yes, now we're going to, you know, move on. If that makes us competition, then that makes us competition. I, it's like, I, I feel like low-key, like, right, they look up to Caesar, whatever, whatever. More so when it comes to rock, like, there might be some bit of, I don't want to say fear. I don't want to say fear because I don't think that that's necessarily it. But let's say intimidation. 
And yeah, y'all probably hear y'all niece in the background, you know, ignore her. You know, it's kind of late, but she ain't in the bed yet. But as well, y'all, let me just, you know, throw this like on in here. I also have a vlog channel. So if you think, you know, you want to see your girl a little bit more, get a little bit into my personal, 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 definitely head on over there. The link is in the description below, or you can scroll all the way down to my page and there as well. I'm, I should be listed under my list of subscribers. So nonetheless, um... I'm, I, 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 I'm honestly, I'm just really like, period, y'all. I'm, I'm not necessarily disagreeing at what Puma had to say in Caesar's defense and just where, where Caesar is at in defense. And I want Croc to grow some balls. And if this is not what you really want, if he's not offering a deal that, you know, if he's not taking the deals that y'all are offering him or the compromise and the whole thing to just be done with it and like move on that's what makes me think like it's all about still being able it is kind of like you are like riding his curtail trying to continue with that cloud because right you it makes me feel like me in my opinion like you you still want to be in the scene like you still want to be in the cameras and you want to use black ink to possibly grow your own business low-key Sorry, that's just how it's looking to me. So regardless of whether you've taken clients, you know, from then or not, y'all know Crystal. Crystal be quick, you know, she says how she feels, says whatever, and she quickly chucked the deuces. It was like, well, I quit when Caesar, you know, was about that stuff. And it trips me out because they always feel like, oh, I'm going to teach Caesar a lesson. Um, bye, 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 bye. And it's like, he gonna realize like it just shows that I'm disposable. He gonna realize I'm not disposable. No, if you have not been watching this for so long, you should know that everybody is disposable to Caesar. You can be replaced. You will be replaced quick, fast, and in a hurry before you even had a second to even think like, oh, wait, did I even make this move? Did I want to make this move? You've been replaced already. Caesar got a new girl in there already in Crystal Spot. So if she thought she ready to backtrack, no baby. No, you're not. No, not when it comes to Caesar Emmanuel. Ain't that his ain't that his name? Something like that. What made me just say Emmanuel? I I'm pretty sure like I got it right. I think I'm over here like second guessing myself. But if I got it wrong, whatever. So um <sighs> What else is there to be said? Y'all definitely know, let me know y'all thoughts on how Caesar is carrying this whole thing with them wanting to open up a shop. I'm glad though that he kind of like cleared it up, you know, about, though I kind of would have loved for Bay to be there to kind of like in, you know, in interviews, like either confirm or deny, you know, what he's talking about. But I know my whole thing was, is okay, what makes it okay? for Bay to have her own shop, which was definitely kind of like basically confirmed. Like it was like we knew we seen her like kind of like in her own like little shop, you know, Bob, but her getting with Tati and them, you know, looking going over like practicing the whole tattoo stuff and all that and her talking about meeting up at her shop was definitely like, okay, clearly definitely does Bay have her own shop. She works outside of that, you know, black ink. So me being me, oh believe it that I am yeah, the scales may be tipped, but are we going to be fair in this bad boy? We're going to be fair. So, I mean, it was just like, what makes them different than Bay? And according to him, him and Bay had a conversation. Him and Bay have their agreement, whatever, 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 whatever that looks like. Bay wasn't at the dinner. So, we don't necessarily get Bay's side as far as like how that looks, what that is whatever 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 but in a way it does kind of at least like clear things up or whatever as far as like the difference between if there is a difference between Bay have her own shop and rock and crystal having their own shop so at this point rock's a little puppy he gonna he gonna i feel like he gonna follow up and you know he's just going to follow in crystal but who knows he may like try to get some balls he says he is he's going to sit down and try to rehab this conversation with caesar so you know we'll see how that goes so other than that i really like me being a spiritual person and being into like sound baths and um reiki and just all that like stuff like that i was it was nice to see you know it just seems like really the more like as time is going on and this stuff that really was our stuff in the beginning 
you know, that the people saw as voodoo and witchcraft and all this, whatever, whatever, is coming back and people are really just about getting into that stuff and practicing more natural things and yoni steams and just all this like type of thing. Like that stuff just wasn't talked about, you know, then and now that it's like a thing and it's trends, a trends basically with it now, like you're seeing it be, even being played out in our reality TV shows. So, um, Kwani, you know, goes, you know, and, um, has that experience. And obviously, you know, being new to it, she didn't necessarily know, probably had some thoughts about it, but it seemed like she really was able to get something out of it instead of doing your normal, you know, counseling. Like counseling isn't necessarily, you know, and therapy isn't necessarily for everybody. So if you are able to find something within yourself, spiritually, or, you know, whatever that is that can help you to get through, get that clarity, get that healing, you know, get that guidance, you know, that you need to get in the direction that you need to go. Like, I'm just all for it. I think I'm just all for as well, just not traditional things. So I think I was just hyped to see that, you know, she stepped into that power of hers and, you know, really is really trying to find out what she needs and do what she needs to do so that she can feel whole, so that she can feel proud of herself and so that she can feel like that her kids are, you know, proud of her and, you know, where she's going. So I meant to, you know, just talk about Bay when we were on Bay and, um, and Tati because I, I appreciate Bay, whether like Tati is really taking it serious or not, or really like getting it or not getting it, like Bay is really like like no girl. If you're gonna be in this, I'm really gonna teach you the like I'm really gonna teach you, teach you. It's not just about like ink and drawing and whatever, whatever, whatever. Like right, every person's skin texture is not the same. Skin color is not the same. And so many things that play, you know into tattooing than just what the front line of it and just like like what you see to it so i really feel like bay is definitely like a what women is no tati is clearly the apprentice so what what is bay necessarily i think i get what i'm saying like i definitely think bay is is that right person to really like hold her accountable, really teach her right. And I feel her. Like, she could definitely be like, you know what? You're going to do your own thing. You're not listening to me. I'm just going to let you go and let you whatever. But she's like, look, I obviously can't stop Tati from tattooing, whatever, whatever. But the least I can do is be like, boom, fine. You want to do this? Let's go ahead and just start critiquing your work. Let me tell you basically in a way without telling you basically that you're not freaking ready. And her being able to sit down and give her just the basics of just tracing and stuff like that it's letting Tati know like baby you're not ready now as well Tati's taking I'm trying to figure out how we got here all of a sudden Tati wanted to go and you know see you know a specialist about you know um saving her eggs and having babies and just stuff like that but i get it she's getting older it isn't like she's in a relationship um doesn't have any kids so hey she wants to explore her options and what else is there to say about that like one thing about it you learn some good education you might learn some you might just learn some things here and there um in some of these episodes some of the random really to me things that they find themselves getting into and inquiring about you know and just stuff like that so um yeah y'all know me y'all like at this point i feel like i've really been doing better with like just really getting to it not making it real long winded for y'all because y'all know um and i haven't had anybody you know you're not disagreeing you're not really you know so i'm assuming that how we're doing things is all right and, and you know and we're good so if this is definitely working for us definitely let me know or not let me know if you, if you start complaining basically then i'll know that maybe we need to do something different but i kind of like doing you know the shorter videos not making a whole 30 minute video about just repeating a lot of things that you know just happened um 
like I say, we're just here like to give my commentary on little tidbits of what happened on these weekly episodes. Um, who knows? Sometimes I may not even do a video. Maybe you'll just see me um, on the community tab, just doing posts, um, you know, having a short conversation there. Want you guys to comment. Maybe I'll do a poll. I don't even know. I'm trying to just find ways to, you know, get you guys to get more engaged. So, like I said, definitely like this video. I probably didn't say it. So, like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, drop me some comments. Definitely for sure about your thoughts for The Last Supper. And subscribe. And then, of course, go check out my YouTube channel. This is a YouTube channel. Go check out my real, my real, yo. I had one beer and I'm like, dang, that one little beer, like, take it. It was a different, like, kind of beer, y'all, too. I don't know what I was thinking. I had one more and we should have been toasting with a drink as we normally do if we do have a drink. Um, But now I'm rambling and now this video could have been 15 minutes and it's about to be 16 minutes long. But nonetheless, y'all, I'm getting out of here. Look in the description below to find the link to my other channel as well as the links or the my at names for social media. And I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later.